Made it to the Pacific! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the northern coast of California. After traveling five months across the US, we finally made it all the way from Florida to Cali and started off our time here by exploring the northwest coast. In this video, we will show you all of our favorite spots that we went to so you can add these onto your next trip. From the redwoods to small ocean towns, there is lots to do here, so without further ado, let's get into the vlog. We made it to California. So if you watched the last video, you saw that we were up in Montana exploring Glacier National Park. So you may be wondering, uh, how'd you get from Montana all the way to California suddenly? Well, we haven't actually filmed in about three weeks. <laughs> After Glacier, we went to, into the state of Washington. We planned to spend a few weeks there exploring. Unfortunately, Washington had wildfires burning all throughout the state and there really wasn't much to do there and the air quality was really bad. So we decided to head further south. Also at that same time, we found last minute tickets to Burning Man. So we decided to go check out Burning Man. This is our first time ever doing it down in Nevada. It was amazing. <laughs> we spent a week there, actually a week and a half. Uh, we did get stuck in the mud a little bit. If you saw on the news, it was a little crazy, but still 100% worth it. We had an incredible time. We didn't really film much there, so if you were expecting to see like a full vlog of Burning Man, unfortunately, we didn't pull the camera out at all. We really just wanted to kind of be more present and be in the moment while we were there and just take a break from filming because sometimes you need that. But it was awesome. If you'd like to hear more about of our experience, let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll just do kind of a sit down talk about our experience and what we thought of Burning Man. But yeah, after that though, we spent a week in Reno, Nevada. We just had to get stuff done. We had to do laundry, clean the van out. We also had to get our oil changed. So we spent a week there getting all that stuff done. Which leads us to here. We are now in Northern California, up in the Redwoods. We do plan to spend probably three to four weeks exploring the state of California just because there's a ton to do here, but we kind of plan to work our way north to south. So we're gonna spend a few days here in the Redwoods. We wanna drive the Pacific Coast Highway, we wanna see Yosemite, we wanna go to a lot of the national parks, and uh, we definitely wanna go down to SoCal as well, check out the beaches, see the Golden Gate Bridge, all that good stuff. So there's lots to do here. We would like to go back up to Washington and Oregon at some point just because we didn't get to see nearly as much of them as we wanted. But we're also in a time crunch because we want to get back into Florida for December time just to spend Christmas with family. So I don't know if we're going to make it back up there this time around, but if not, next time we come through, we're definitely going to spend more time in Washington and Oregon. But uh, yeah, that's a quick recap of where we are, how we got to here. We're about to head into the Redwoods right now. We're gonna do a scenic drive and also do a little bit of hiking today and uh, see what we can find. We'll see you there. Our first stop in Northern California was the Howland Hill Road located inside Jedediah Smith State Park. If you wanna see huge trees, then this 10 mile drive should be a must do as it takes you right through some of the largest trees in the world. Be warned though that it is on a very narrow dirt road with two-way traffic, so be prepared for some dust, bumps, and lots of stopping to allow opposing traffic to pass, especially on the more narrow spots. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit sketchy at times in the van, but with views of massive redwoods right outside your car window, it's totally worth it. Along the way, there are lots of spots to pull over and take a look around or even go on some hikes. We decided to hike the Grove of the Titans Trail, which is an easy two mile hike that takes you up close to some of the largest trees. We're currently doing the Grove of the Titans Trail. It's about two miles long and it's just so beautiful. Throughout the entire trail, you're just surrounded by these massive, massive redwood trees. And uh, supposedly towards the end of the trail, you see some huge ones, which are even bigger than these, which is hard to believe. Oh, this is so cool. This is one of the only places in the entire world where you can find the coastal redwood trees. These are the tallest trees in the world. I believe the tallest comes in at about 380 feet tall, which is massive. Many of these trees are over 2,000 years old which means they were around during like the times like the ancient Romans, which is crazy to think about. 
but walking through them amongst these giants you can just feel the energy and just kind of imagine all they've seen throughout the years and how much has changed and uh it's just special it's magical and through here walking through here seriously felt like something straight out of lord of the rings and although these trees look big on camera i promise they look way bigger in person and i can't describe it but there's this sort of energy or life force that just seems to permeate the forest i wish everyone could visit here at some point in their life but for those who can't hopefully this video can capture some of the magic Check this out, right behind me is one of the redwoods that has fallen down. And even on its side, it's taller than I am. And it creates like this tunnel through here where the trail goes. So we're gonna follow it along. But this is so unreal. <laughs> like we're walking below fallen trees right now. Uh, we just entered the deep forest, which I guess is where some of the oldest and biggest trees are. And I feel like we're walking through Fangorn Forest right now, and I expect to see like an ant walk by us anytime. <laughs> After leaving the Redwoods, we stopped in Crescent City, which is located just minutes outside the Redwoods Park. We stopped in at Perlita's authentic Mexican restaurant to grab some delicious food before exploring the city. This foggy ocean town is definitely worth a visit, and we love the moody vibes that the fog gave it. Some things to do while visiting here are to check out the historic lighthouse, visit the Marine Mammal Center where they rehabilitate injured sea life, or just stroll along the ocean. While walking along the beach, one of the locals suggested we head over to the Chart Room restaurant because sea lions often like to hang out around there. We love seeing wildlife, so we made our way over and were blown away at how many sea lions we saw. We ended up spending a good hour here just watching these adorable sea lions before heading out to our campsite for the night. We found the most amazing spot on the beach. Our van is right over there behind us. So we're gonna be sleeping for the night. <laughs> and check out this view behind us. I love California. We ended up camping here for a couple nights because, come on, look at this place. It is gorgeous. The sunsets here were incredible and we even had a little fire on the beach with some fellow van travelers. After a couple days though, we were ready to see more so we headed south down the Pacific Coast Highway towards San Francisco. Along the way, we stopped at a small ocean town of Mendocino which had these beautiful flowers planted all over. This city was a whole vibe, from the food, to the people, to the architecture, and we seriously fell in love with this place. While here, we also stopped at the Mendocino Headland State Park, where we saw a crazy amount of pelicans nesting and flying around these huge rocks. This was such a cool experience. Trust me though, if you are visiting Northern California, make sure Mendocino is on your list of places to visit. You won't regret it.
We spent another couple of nights here camped out by the ocean before continuing south down to Point Arena where we found yet another epic beach spot. So today we are in Point Arena, California. Uh, we stopped here last night mainly just because there's a casino that allowed free overnight parking so it gave us a place to stay. While we were there though we were talking to some of the locals and they recommended we come check out this place called Bowling Ball Beach which is about 10 minutes away. They said we got to come during low tide though because otherwise the beach is covered. So we are here. It's not quite low tide yet but it's pretty close and the beach is remarkable. And what's crazy is there's nobody else here. We're literally the only people here right now. And it's just super picturesque. There's these big cliff rock ledges surrounding us. Uh, the water is beautiful, it's sunny out. So we're just gonna explore around a little bit, maybe uh, get the drone out, do a few drone shots, and just enjoy this paradise to ourselves right now. Sometimes I still don't feel like this is real life. Like we wake up and just get to be at a beach all by ourselves. Van life is wild, definitely recommend it. Look at these cliffs next to us. I feel like it looks like, like a dinosaur bone or something. Some prehistoric dragon died here. <laughs> so we're walking along the beach and we see this massive thing. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but it's huge. It's literally like bigger than Donna is. If anyone knows what this is, comment below. Is this like some sea monster? <laughs> Looks like some sort of plant kind of thing. I don't know, it's weird. It's huge though. We ended up spending the afternoon here enjoying this beach all to ourselves. I have to say, one thing we really loved about Northern California is how uncrowded everything was. Maybe it's because we were here in late September and summer was over, but even in the redwoods there was very few people. After recently visiting Yellowstone and Glacier National Park, which were super crowded, this was a nice change. This beach in particular seemed to be somewhat of a hidden gem, so if you do decide to visit, please clean up after yourself and make sure to leave no trace. Traveling is awesome, but let's make sure these places survive for our future generations to enjoy as well. This about wraps up our time in Northern California though, as after this we headed south towards San Francisco and Yosemite, which will be in our next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to follow along on all of our travels. Thank you so much for watching though, and until next time, stay wild.